man, shut that bird off, Crab Claw. We're going fishing today. What's going on, Buzz Bay? Oh, man, let me tell you what's going on today, Crab Claw. Man, we shutting the shop down. We're going Billy Big Mouth fishing right down the road here in a special pond down here. We're going to do some pond manning. So we're going to take the day off today? Well, I think we're going to shut her down at 5 o'clock, man. What you think, Crab Claw? So I guess we, uh, we're going to try to catch you said Billy Big Mouth, right? That's, that's what we're going after today. We're pulling out the old Skeeter here boat. It's a two-man boat. We're going to go down here and do a little pond management. Oh, no. So what are we going to be fishing today there, Buzz? I tell you what, old Buzz Bait's got a special bait going on today. Uh, let me go ahead and show y'all what's happening. What you got, man? Look at the size of that right there. See, this is Billy Big Mouth special bait right here. Big big crank bait. We're going after big fish. What you think about that, Crab Claw? So you done pulled her out of the box. Huh? I sure did, you know. I dusted her off. I think she's ready to go hang into another Billy Big Mouth. I think we got a good chance on it. Well, you said that old boy's got that. They said some big old fish now. Well, he right? said you could stick your fist in their mouth, so we're going to go give it a try. I like it, guys. Stay tuned. More fishing time, hosted by Team RT. We hope you enjoy the show. So, what do you think, Buzz Bait? Uh, what are we about to do today? I'll tell you what, bud. Coming down here to do some extermination. Some extermination? What, what, what is extermination there, Captain? That is called pond management. So what is pond management? Pond management is when you need to come in and clean some fish out to manage the pond and put some new in. So who do you call? You call Team Larty. For extermination. Call Team right. Call Team Larty. Uh, so where are we fishing at today, uh, there, Captain? Uh, you well, sir? We over here in a private pond. Uh, you know. Over here in Orange Beach, Alabama. So we're going to try to catch up. We're not doing saltwater fishing today, are we? No, sir. We're looking for Billy Big Mouse. Billy Big Mouse. And what are we fishing out of today there, Captain? We are fishing out of the old Skeeter boat. I tell you what, this is a game fisher that uh, Grandpa has had for over 25 years. I tell you what, that is, that, that is a true story. Uh, we've had that Skeeter boat... Uh, of course, it's, uh, it's only an 8.9 foot skater boat. It's not like the skater boat everybody's accustomed to. It. Is there a cabin? No, but I tell you what, it's very versatile. It is some kind of special boat. I tell you, you can take it anywhere you want back to. Back in your truck and just take it wherever you want to drop it in and just drop her in there, lickety split. Nickety split. That's what old Cabin Buzz Bait says. Nickety split. So what, what, what do you think, Buzz Bait? Uh, we gonna catch some fish today or what? Oh, I hope so, my man. We're just getting started. We got a uh, hound dog and... We got a cat, Mel a cat Melmer Fuds in the boat today. Check this out. I mean, this is an 8.9 foot bass hunter boat and they about to go sniff them up. There they go. What do you think, Buzz Bait? I'll uh, tell you what. We gonna catch some fish today? I hope so. I hope everything's right, the conditions are right. Uh, got this little pond, and we're about to do some pond management. Pond management, uh, they called us in uh, for a little bit of an extermination job, and uh, Buzz Bait, who do you call? You call Team RT to come get your exterminating done. Yeah, that's right. So uh, everybody just hang tight. Uh, we're about to start fishing uh, over here in Orange Beach, Alabama, over here in a little bitty pond trying to catch Billy Big Mouse. All right, so what, what are we going to do, Buzz Bait? Uh, they got the Skeeter boat uh, out there uh, in the pond, so what are we going to do? Well, we can probably do a little casting demonstration or something like that. Uh, a little instructional cast demonstration? Yeah, we can probably handle that. All right, well, i tell you what uh, they do have. There's another little old pond over here on the, uh, I guess you'd call it the west side. And uh, let's show them how to throw a bait casting rod. Let's do it. It's like hound dogs throwing that little H&H &H and old uh, Captain Melmer's throwing a buzz bait. I'll tell you what, uh, the owner of this property, uh, he says he can see him. You know, he says as, uh, that he can see some two-fisted Billy Big Miles. So we just got started here, uh, did we, uh, buzz bait? We sure did. i tell you what, we're over here fishing in Orange Beach. We got, we're here on a private pond. 
I'm trying to catch Billy Big Mouth. Uh, we're using some uh, a Texas rig worm, you know, Tex Texas straight rig. Uh, you know, you simply just put your bullet weight on, on your line, and then you tie your your hook on with buzz bait likes using a hook that's got a little L shape there that holds his worm on there good and tight. Well, show what that L shape looks like. I mean, uh, a lot of people, uh, when you see a, 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 a fresh water hook, there is an L. Sh uh, an, some of them have an L. Some That's of right. them. Some of them don't. But I like using that L shape to where you simply get your worm, you run it in the head of the worm, and come down about a quarter to a half an inch, pull it back out, run it up the worm, turn it around. Now it's in that L. Now your your worm is secure. And it's pretty balanced too, isn't it? It's very balanced. And it's pretty straight. Uh, you want your worm to be as straight as you can, is that correct? That's exactly right. And then I just simply kind of grab just a little bit, pull it in just a little bit, put your hook inside the worm, making sure the hook is inside the plastic worm, not outside because that, it won't be weedless. And weedless means that you can drag this over logs, grass, anything that you any know. kind of any kind of obstruction. I mean, I mean, uh, the worm is pretty much notorious for being weedless bait. Is that correct? That is exactly right. So you can actually just pull that through, and like we have here, we got the little bullet weight on the front. Right, and it, it's not secure. It, it kind of slides up it and down. It slides up and down. Now, if you wanted to, you could, uh, you know, secure it and with a toothpick. I mean, a lot of time, right. a lot of times. Uh, you don't want your uh, weight to be uh, sliding up and down. Is that correct, Captain? That is correct. So, and, you know, that's like, uh, you know, having the weight secured there will keep it down in the grass much more than it would if the weight slips up and down. But the worm, you want to have a slow presentation. Is that correct, that Captain? That is correct. So, I mean, even if, if the weight is secured or unsecured, you, you still want to have a low, uh, a slow, low presentation. That's right. You just want to kind of bump it along the bottom and, you know, drag it a little bit. Sometimes they want to hit it as you're pulling it because it's got the twist on the tail. You know, there's several different mates of worms, but this one right here is the culprit worm, and it's got a twist. So when you drag it through the water, it's got a twist to it. And, and, and that's uh, the most popular color. And that's that that what size couple runner? That's a 10 inch couple runner. I think it's about 8.5. 8.5. Here's 8.5. They do make 10. They make six. They even make four inch worms. They'll probably make any kind of worm size you yes, want. Yes, they will. <laughs> yes, they will, Grab. You know what I'm saying, Buzz mate? Yes, sir. But we out here trying to catch a few Billy Big Mouths. Uh, you know, we're using 12 pound. Seaguar monofilament. Four carbon line. Four carbon line. Uh, and hopefully we're gonna hook us up with a with a big mouth. with a Billy Big Mouth. Got a little slow bite going on right now. I guess we've been fishing about 20 minutes. Uh and we're fishing a new place. We hadn't fished here before. Hey Buzzbait, uh they call the exterminators up. Uh, they sure did. So we're here to exterminate the bass and do some uh, pond management. Well, some pond management, uh, I ain't seen any kind of management going on just yet, you know. Uh, but, uh... New to the waters. New to the waters. New to the waters. So what about, what about a little demonstration on throwing a bait caster? A, a bait caster rod and reel combination. You know, that's what Buzz Bait has grown up with. He, uh, believe it or not, I was throwing bait casters back when I was about seven, eight years old. My dad told me to go out and tie Back then, it was like a nut, just a straight nut. You go out in the backyard with no hook and learn how to throw 
the bait casting reel. I mean, the bait, the bait casting uh, reel combination uh, is a little bit trickier than a spinning cast or, say, call a punch and go uh, Zebco. It is. Uh, it's real simple. You know, if you're a beginner, you would think that it would be hard, and all beginners have backlashes. All these new, the new reels have brake systems on them that you can control the free fall of your line. So the uh, the, the free fall would be, uh, you know, you have a, a tight, which would be a less, and then if you if did it loose, it would be That's right. more. That's right. They're so high tech now that it makes it real simple to adjust to your to your cast. So if, you know, like me, I like to have a free casting reel. I like to be able to put it out there. A lot of people will break their, or tighten up their brakes to where the food does not spin freely. And they have a tighter brake system. That way they don't have to put their thumb on the spoon. Uh, maybe like a little, uh, uh, like, like an instructional uh, tool I mean, when you throw the bait caster, you have to use both the left hand and the right hand. I mean, normally. Right, but I mean, nowadays, they make it where you got the, uh, the release switch is right here. It's a one thumb deal. Back so, in the day, all the reels, you have to reach over and push the lever here to release the reel. Nowadays, they make a good, easy punch and go. Quick release, all you do is simply push the lever down, keep your thumb on the spool. If your dra your uh, bait cast is not tightened all the way up, you need to hold your thumb on the spool and you'll just get adjusted to throwing it without a backlash. Yeah, but you know, ideally, that thumb is a major part of, uh, of throwing a bait cast. I mean, you, you know, you have to have your thumb on the, on the spinning reel, uh, on the spinning line, because if not, then you'll have a, a rat's nest. Like I said, once again, that's back in the day when my dad told me to go out there with some, now they make rubber pieces that you can tie on there that's not gonna break windows and all that stuff, because I was out there just throwing it at random, wrapping around all kinds of trees and stuff, but nowadays, can, they have the rubber deal that you can just simply tie onto your line and you can get in the backyard and you can practice and then you get perfection with it and then you'll be able to bring a cup. Yeah, you want to start, you know, with hitting spots. I mean, you know, you know, when you're bass fishing, you want to hit every little crease and cranny. Is that right, Kevin? That is correct. You want to be able to put that bait in places that people dream about. Yeah, well, I mean, a, a good slow presentation at the right spot at the right time. That's it. And then you might get lucky enough. Uh, so, uh, Hound Dog, Hound Dog's on got the first fish of the day. Yeah, got a little old stroker tight out of there. Man, he's a dark looking bass, ain't he, Kevin? Yeah, he's got that tannic water color to him, like those Florida bass did. Wow. Yeah, pretty little boat. Uh, man, uh, uh, I tell you what, uh, uh, yeah, he's 12 inches. I, I, I think he'll go 12. It's gonna be close, real close. Well, you know what? You, well, I guess they're, they're bigger over here. I mean, I know he's 12. He's long and skinny. Yeah, he's been eating real good, crap. Well, he's a little bit poor. He's a little bit poor. We'll throw him back, and uh, I tell you what, we'll catch him another day. Oh, buddy. Nice catch and release. Hound dogs, I got the first fish of the day. And uh, that was with a culprit worm, is that correct? 10 inch culprit red shad, uh, probably my favorite worm of all time. And that's a little bit bigger than the traditional seven and a half inch, but the little bass there didn't seem to mind, did he? He sure didn't. I mean, uh, the worm was almost as long as the fish. Maybe, maybe as long. Maybe as long. Uh, good catch, man, indeed, no doubt. It's a start anyway. That's right. It's a start. Done broke the ice. Hound dog done broke the ice. Hang tight. We about to catch some more fish. <laughs>